Hey my Patreon friends, welcome back to Culinary Girl Liz. Before I get into today's video, make sure to comment, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and turn on your post notifications so you get notified when I post a new video. I post every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Thanks for 18 subscribers. Please give me to 1k subscribers. You guys are awesome. Please keep subscribing. Make sure you turn on those post notifications and keep liking my videos. You guys are awesome. I post every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Let's get started with today's video. So, as you guys know, yesterday, Saturday, 9-11-2021, was the 20th anniversary of 9-11. For those of you who don't know what 9-11 is, I'll tell you. So, 9-11 was 20 years ago yesterday. Um, when the, there were flights flying all over the country. The two major ones were they were trying to fly to LAX, which is in LA, California, across the country in the West Coast. But they never made it because they had hijackers on the plane. So at 8.46 a.m., the first plane hit the North Tower. Then after that, I don't know what time the plane hit, another plane hit the South Tower. Then after that, a plane hit the South Tower. At 9.59 a.m., one of the towers collapsed. Then the other tower collapsed. Now, where the Twin Towers used to be, there's a memorial, and you can, like, go there, and if you have family members that you lost that day because of tragedy, or as I call it, trauma, because it really is. You're going through something traumatic like that. Um, You can put an American flag on their name because they carve it into, like, a stone wall, I think. I've never been to New York, but I'd love to go there to the 9-11 Memorial. And, the, and there's a museum there. But anyway, sorry, I woke up at 8. I usually wake up at 7 on weekends, but I woke up at 8. I woke up an hour later, but please bear with me. Anyway, so, yeah, that's what happened. And then it, and then there was another flight that I know about four flights, but I don't know where the fourth flight crashed. I know there's another flight that crashed in Washington, D.C. I don't know where. And there's another flight that crashed into the Pentagon in Pennsylvania. Um, the Pentagon is still standing. The Twin Towers, unfortunately, are not. Because what happened was the people... Everybody was in school that day, right? People thought it was going to be... A normal day. People thought they were going to school, having a normal day. All of a sudden, the news came on over the whole world and said that two planes had just crashed into the Twin Towers. Meanwhile, your parents who are alive, or your aunts or uncles or whoever, or friends and relatives, were probably confused, like, what is going on here? But in reality... They didn't realize it was a terrorist attack. They thought it was just probably a freak accident until they said that there were terrorists on the plane and hijackers. People from the planes called their relatives and called their loved ones and said, I'm on a plane that's been hijacked. Tell my kids I love them. Tell my family I love them and I'll see you when I can. Little did they know they were going to be trapped in the plane and die. Um, you can go and watch the footage that was posted years after it happened on YouTube. I have, in fact, I was watching something in class the other day. Not really about the plane crash, but like about um, the um, first responders in the Twin Towers and what happened that day. Um, about this guy with a red bandana, and you can search that up on Google. I'm sure I'll have a lot of information about that guy because he was super smart and yeah. But anyway, what happened on that day was George W. Bush, not George the father because now he's dead, but George W. Bush, George H. W. Bush's son, he was president at this time. Um, he, what happened was he was down in uh, Florida reading to a class of second graders at an elementary school. They all have uniforms on, but anyway. Um, what happened was George was reading. All of a sudden, somebody from the White House said, 
go, like, is working with him. I don't know if it's, like, the secretary or whatever. He whispers into his ear something. And the teacher thought she did something wrong or she said something wrong. Then he made a speech that day about what had just happened at the Twin Towers, saying that the Twin Towers were crashed into by hijackers and this was terrorism. Later that night, he made it back to the White House in Washington, D.C., and said that he, um, there were lots of lives lost because of what happened that earlier that day in the morning. But yeah, after that, they schools call schools around the country, or I don't know if it was around the country or just in that area, called their parents, called the parents, saying, "Come pick your kids up," because they didn't they didn't know if there were hijackers around the country. They just wanted to keep the kids safe. So anyway, what happened then was, what happened then was, um, the parents came and picked the kids up, brought them home to keep them safe, to make sure they were safe and okay. I mean, the kids were okay, but little did they know what was that, what a hijack, because when you're in second grade, how do you expect your kid to know what a hijacker is, you know? Anyway, um, I didn't realize, I knew, I've heard about 9-11 my whole life. I just didn't realize what it was until, like, about a few years ago, until, like, 6th or 5th grade. And I'm in ninth grade now. I just started ninth grade a couple weeks ago, high school. But I didn't, I didn't understand what 9-11, I've heard about it and why it was so tragic, but I didn't really understand what it was until, like, 6th or 5th grade. It took me a while to understand what it was. Um, but anyway... Yeah, so now I'd like to remember the people who died saving the people who are trapped in the floors of the Twin Towers that collapsed. And I would also like to take a moment of silence to those who died, not the, not the hijackers, but the, to those people on the planes who died and the first responders in the Twin Towers or anybody that crashed that day. You guys are in our hearts. We will never forget. September 11, 2001, we will never forget. Just, um, I would like to take a moment of silence to remember those who sacrificed their lives, the first responders, and the people on the planes that died because of this tragedy. I hope this moment of silence gave you guys time to reflect. Anyways, even if you weren't around, because you still know what happened. You, if you're little, you don't know, but if you're older. Anyways, um, my dad, this is, sad, this is a sad story, relates to 9-11. My dad had some friends on the planes that crashed into the Twin Towers, and he lost some friends that day, so... Their names are on the memorial. I just don't know what their names are, but their names are on there. Anyway, um, yeah. And there are still survivors from that day, but not many. Because 2,000, to be exact, 2,977 lives were lost that day because of what happened. Um, but yeah, um, Thanks for watching this memorial and tribute video. But that's going to close out today's video. That's all for today's video. Make sure to comment, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and turn on your post notifications so you can notify when I post a new video. Thanks for 18 subscribers. Please get me to 1K subscribers. You guys are awesome. Keep subscribing. Um, I post every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Love you guys. Peace out, my Patriot friends.